Hi everyone, Spider-Man here with my good friend Ashton. How are you feeling today? Okay. So, we're doing the next lesson in kids' self-defense and what we're going to do is complement an earlier lesson where we taught you how to do a forward roll. And now, we're gonna start rolling backwards. Here's how we start. Miss Ashton, you rest over there for just a moment. We're gonna practice that C curve roll. It's like I'm crunching to make my back circular. So you sit down and you try to grab just here at the knees and keep some space, round out your back, keep your chin tight, and you wanna go shoulders, and then have a seat. And this is not as easy as it looks. The idea is to try to use as many muscles as you can to aid in the rolling motion. So if you roll and your body just kind of goes limp, and then you try to sit up, you're really missing out. So I gotta recruit is the word. Recruit as many muscles as I can and try to use them both going back and going forward to keep myself in this form. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is choose a leg to lead. Now, Spider-Man is right-handed, so I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm going to take my left leg under, and what I'm gonna to try to do is roll the same, except now I can't hold on to my knees. So again, notice I don't roll and come apart. I tighten up, I focus, and I go to my shoulders, and then I come back. Now, after you can do that, we're gonna extend an arm and it's gonna be the same side as the extended leg. So this is my right, and I match it. What I'm going to do is look for my arm, and I'm gonna roll and try to step over. Again, right leg, my left is tucked, my right arm's out. I roll and try to step over the arm. Now, once you can do that, you bend the arm and you just follow with the hand. You can imagine the arm is there, and I can step over. Now, as you're going over, you'll notice that I am trying to get my feet onto the mat. Here's a common mistake. We roll, and we end up on our knees. It's very hard to stand up swiftly from there. So, as I roll, I'm trying to touch down with the ball of the foot, which is the padded part of the foot right underneath your big toe. I roll and I touch it down. Once that foot touches down, it's much easier to get the other one to touch down, but I want to extend it. See that? Extend it. My hands will be able to go to the floor comfortably. I can use them as an aid to rise up to my feet. And that's the key. We gotta get back to our feet. So again, I roll one foot, the other foot, hands and up. I'm trying to stay over here on my shoulder and the trapezius muscles, but not on my neck and my head. I'm gonna roll right to you. As I roll back, See where I am? I'm trying to stay off of my head as best as I can. It's pretty comfortable for Spider-Man, but you might have some trouble, so be safe. No need to rush. Ball the foot down. Reach out. Spider-Man pose, or you stand up. Now, you remember when we were talking about how to fall, and I was teaching you to squat, make the keep your chin tight. We're gonna do the same type of thing. But what I want you to do this time is try to lift one leg off. Here's the way to do it. I wanna lift my right leg. I'm gonna step back with the opposite leg, my left. Step, squat, hit the ground. We'll try again. Step, squat, hit the ground. If you can do that, after we hit, we're gonna roll. So, step, squat, hit, and then you can get yourself set to roll. Hands come up. Let's watch that again. Step, one leg, hit, get set, and roll. Once you can do that, it requires a little more speed to make it smooth. 
So if you're not ready for it right away, it's okay. Take your time. Be safe. Hit. And roll. What are we trying to practice? Well, Ms. Ashton, who's super sweet and nice, is going to play our bully. Show him your bully face. Oh, she didn't even have a bully face. A friend who's not really a bully is going to push me. Go ahead. And as she pushes me, I'm going to simulate my fall, hit the ground, and then I'll roll, attempt to stand up, and tell her, back off! Oh, wow, what a great self-preservation movement this can be, right? Because how common is getting pushed? And if you get pushed harder than expected or it's a total surprise, you might be taken right off your heels, right? But instead of getting pushed and just falling, ah, ah, stop, ah, I might have this happen instead. She pushes me and I hit, I roll and say, hey, back off. Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. So you think you're pretty tough, huh? Is that it? You want to fight me? Huh, girl? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is on now. Back up. Very good, give me five. Can we try one more? Yeah. It's not that you didn't do it well, I just like to push it. Back up. Very nice, thank you my friend. Spider handshake, one to two, comes back to three. Backhand, forehand, do the fish. A bit, on top, bottom, good job. Spider-Man success system, step number five. First, a quick review. What was step one? Set a goal. What was step two? Take appropriate action. Step three? Give attention to detail. Step four? Adjust if it's not working. Step number five is practice, practice, practice. Here's a motto. Repetition is the mother of all skill. Here's something else to consider. Some people have more time to train, but some of us, despite our best efforts, can't train as often as we'd like. So I guess we're just not going to be any good. Is, is that it? I disagree because it's not the quantity. It's not the amount of training sessions. It's the quality. Say, for example, you start playing soccer and it has a lot of practices and has games on the weekends and you can't practice with Spider-Man or you can't do another activity that you're involved in as often as you might like. But you can still do it maybe one time a week. So during that one time a week, do your best. Make it a good quality lesson, practice session, study session or training session and chances are you'll still be able to make progress. It might slow down a bit, but that's okay. You're doing soccer. You chose to do another activity, so you gotta find the balance. Soccer will come to an end at the end of the season, and then you'll be free to go back to your other activity and invest more time. It's better than giving up, because then again, you have no participation, so there's no possible progress you can make. So Spider-Man's advice is to remember that with all that you do, if practice is what's gonna help make things better, try to have the perspective of it's not the quantity, it's the quality. And if you still need another way to understand this, imagine this. Miss Ashton over here, if she came to practice with me one day a week, but she gave a great focused effort, she learned something new or improved something that she already knew, that would be more ideal than if we had, let's make up an imaginary person. Give me a name. Carl. Wow. Oh my God! <laughs> That's our camera person's father. Sorry. But she's sending, a, she's sending a message to our camera person there. All right, so well, well, no, we'll, we'll just go with that. So our camera person's father, Carl, right, as you've named, and Carl has a different attitude. He decides that when he comes in to train with Spider-Man, he's going to be distracting. He's gonna mess around, and so he's here five days a week where she's only here one, but he's just not focused on doing very well. He giggles whenever he works with a partner. So the fact of the matter is, is that this person's here more often, but gives a lacklustered effort, whereas she's here only one time a week, but gives a sincere, a true effort. That's what I want you to do. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Kids. I mean, it's not like we rehearsed this or anything. We're trying. We do a little. Just give us a moment. Think of dead kitties. She Why are you laughing at dead kitties? <laughs>